Hey, it's the Scotch Woo! Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Mark. We got a couple of uh, new imports to our area from hard Black Adam. Hard to find, hard to find. But we're going to test it. We're going to test it! Barrel char style. Independent bottler style. Boom. All right, where did we even find these? Because I haven't seen them. Well, that's, uh, several years ago, you were in Pittsburgh. Mm, yeah, with and Raj you met up with, Yeah, met up with Raj Sabrawal. He's right. uh, with Glass Revolution Importers. Boom, imported it in. They first imported tried several Black whiskeys. Adder. But yeah, first time Black Adder. Uh -huh. Right. Um, Amrut also. Uh, yep, I yep. And but, so I'm in Pittsburgh. He picks me up. Takes me to this good whiskey bar. I can't remember the name of it. Um, he's letting the owner of the bar uh, sample some different things based on what they want to bring in. And he goes, do you want to try a little bit of this Black Adder sample with the owner? And I'm like, what's the answer sure. to that? Sure. Right. Yeah, <laughs> sure. He goes, there's a lot of barrel char in it. He shakes the bottle and there's stuff floating around in it. I'm just, For a second, I was like, I've never seen that. But we were pretty new. I mean, we were like an hour, a, a year wow, in. Probably, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, I hadn't seen that before. And then I tried it, and I was like, oh, my God, that's good. And I haven't been able to find it yeah. until. Um, not too long ago, Raj had posted a picture on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I think he's Whiskey mm -hmm. Raj on Instagram and or Twitter. Mm -hmm. But he had posted a picture from a liquor store in Oklahoma City called The Well Wine and Spirits. Of OKC. Who later we end up meeting the owner, Peter. Right. But uh, Raj had posted a picture from the well of OKC, and they had the Black Adders. They had, I mean, there's several different versions of this from the Pete Reeks that we picked up. There's um, the Sna Red Snake. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. Black there's several all versions. over the place in there. Yeah. First we're, time we'd ever seen them right. anywhere on a shelf. Right, because we're driving through. Well, we're headed to Iron Root. Going to Denison. Yeah, and you're like, there's some black adder. And I was like, what? <laughs> Where? Where is it? And you're like, we're going to go there. We're going to the well of OKC. I'm like, yeah. And then in we go, and there was more. I thought there'd be like one or two choices. Mm -hmm. There was multitude. Mm -hmm. So we just picked these two up. Well, we settled for two of the more expensive options, which we'll talk about later. Right. Um, but the one that you had had before, these are both Pete Reeks. Mm -hmm. This is the Black Adder Pete Reek Raw Cast. Raw. This has the charcoal, everything in it. They pretty much just take the barrel and, and fill it, start it's filling like bottles. It's like a snow globe with charcoal in it. Yep. Hello. And then we picked up the Black Adder Pete Reek mm -hmm. Embers. First of all, I love the word Pete Reek. Right. Phrase. Which is uh, sherry cask finished. Right. Which actually, or sherry cast. When, when we got here, though, and opened them up and tried them, we see both of them do have a sherry yeah, cast finish. touching it, pull out the bottle. Yep. And we got to let now, that one. Look at that. You got to go like that. Otherwise, it's all settled. That. You can't see it, but I can. There's particulate in there. Oh, boy. Look at that. Hold on. We got to make sure you get a little char. To... I am. Oh. Got to get you a little char. You got to get a little char in Shake. there. You can't even taste the char. Shaken, not stirred. Right. Look at that. Shake now it's all forward. bubbly. I'm sure that's bad. Someone's going, oh, God, what's he doing? He's yeah. shaking it. He's... Oh, all right. right. I got coin color. number 53 and 54. Ooh, 53. What? 54. 55, 56. These are young, baby. Yep. <laughs> Which one peak. do you want to start with? You Let's... have the sherry. The, or the uh, embers? The, yeah, the embers. Okay. I know they're both sherry. Yep. When we got it, we were thinking this was more... Like Sheriff. No. Nice peat, uh, smoky ash. Looks very different. I get the sherry. Well, not necessarily the sherry. I get a sweetness. Yeah. What what I get from the peat is almost that sulfuric antiseptic, but it's with a sweetness rolled in. So it's not as much of a like that sherry punch in the face. Well, and it feels like the ABV is, is hiding some of the peat. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like it's yeah. suppressing a little bit. Right. I mean, the sweetness rolls out of there for sure. I'm curious to see what happens here. Look at the raw cask. Yeah. Smell it. Ooh, Smell real, it. real similar. More. I got peanuts. Huh. Right off the bat with it. Yeah. Roastedness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Real similar. 
salty. Yeah. So I would say it's a little, um, it's, uh, I mean, it's similar, but distinct with the roasted peanuts first. And then you're right. It's got that, that saltiness rolled in there along with making me think peanut. Salted roasted peanut. Huh. That's not as sweet. You can tell right from the get-go that there's not the sweetness on the nose. Uh, so Black Adder, real secretive with their sourcing these from. Like I said, all they've re released is these are an Isla malt. So, And supposedly, I even looked online trying to find out, and there's only people guessing what they are. Well, that's what we were doing. Yeah. Ooh. That's my first time having that. Ooh. Wow. I need to put a drop of water in there, too. My <laughs> ABV sparked me. Mmm. There's mm. a lot of caramels. Caramel wow. roasted peanut. And then a sweet sugar water. Astringent, drying. It is. Mm hmm. Um, I need some water. That alcohol got me. That was my first sip. Let me get a little bit more on the palate. Yeah. Like I said, the, uh, this edition of Raw Cask, and they do vary, but um, what was I going to say? They're making Oh, 10 years. This one does have the 10 years. It does say 10 years. This edition of the Embers does not indicate how old it is. I was getting ready to make up something crazy. <laughs> I was this close to saying something crazy about how they're making one for me. Mm. Hold on. Let me do mm. your little roll technique where you almost spill some of the precious liquid. Mm. But you hold it in there like it's ember that was caught in the in the old There's, prehistoric time from a tree. I get a lot of peat, burning wood, log log fire going. There's some there's some salted peanut on that as well. Mm. I'm gonna add a drop of water too. Yeah, I put, a, still, I put a good dollop of water in there. It's still good. Um, oh, it's very good. Yeah, a little got, bit. I'm I going. feel like I've got a good wood influence here. I get some of the uh, what I call sour oak sliding through. I'm looking for the sherry notes, though. I don't get them. I get more like a brown sugar, mm. maybe. Mm. Yeah, my, mine is less brown sugar, more like a sugar water. Cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon. More um, allspice type notes, maybe nutmeg. Which sometimes with sherry finishes on the heavily peated things, it's hard for me to... Sometimes I can just tell there's a sweetness in there. Mm. I haven't quite developed yet to tell you that's sherry or that I'm getting... I think just that touch of sourness is what I'm getting is the, that sherry influence. Did you want me to grab a water I'm, bottle for you? I got one. No, I don't okay. want you to grab a water bottle for anybody. <laughs> The fact is, you need to pour yours into a glass. I need a pitcher before. I need a crystalline pitcher that will not crinkle. I'm gonna That's go. A good call. I added a drop of water here. I'm gonna let that sit though. I'm gonna move on to uh, let raw me let cask. That sit. Yeah, let take, me let that. Take raw cask neat. Mm -hmm. I do want to cleanse a little bit, but now I'm mm. nervous about grabbing the water. Just a little nervous. Mm. Now. Mm. Mm. I'm going to tell you right up front, my favorite of these two is the raw cask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even baby. now, I had had this one at home, the Embers. Mm. And then when I came over here and tried this one a couple weeks ago, oh, yeah. I immediately thought that one was better. Oh, head to head, baby. And here, head to head, I, I still agree with it. Both very oh. good, but that raw cask is... It, it's almost the, the sherry, even though it, this is this is sherry finished. This one boldly says sherry. This one's got a little tag right here little on the sticker, side little from a hog's head. I think this one is showing... The sherry more really see i don't get i don't get the sherry as much as i get a very very nice roasted savoriness mm -hmm. the peat smoke mm. carries through in the flavor but the roasted savoriness i don't always get in a peat and it's hard to for me to sometimes even describe it it feels a little bit like you're next to the campfire and that you've got a nice it sounds weird, but for me, a fatty piece of meat that's like dripping into the fire, mm. and then you and then you get a little taste of it. Mm -hmm. Bacon drippings on mm -hmm. that wood, mm -hmm. and then you picked up that charred wood and took a bite it. of it. Lick the wood. <laughs> I sound dirty, but I didn't mean it that way. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's mm. what, it, when I get a savoriness, which is not often. Yeah. But it's that, it's that, like you said, and it's and it's got a thick richness. You can tell that when they talk about the oils and the fats, with it being not not filtered, um, I can pick that up. It just seems to have a great well, not seems it has a wonderful thick mouthfeel, very rich, nice, great finish that hangs in there. Yeah, that peat. Both hang. well, both of them. I think the peat is showing a little bit more on the raw cask. Yeah. Yeah, I'm then glad I grabbed this. I mean, this is good, mm -hmm. but this this brings more of a sweetness to it. This brings more of what I like in my peat, which is the the smoky, raw, savory, fatty flavor. Yeah, I think the peat is a little subdued in this one compared to the raw cask. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go back to the embers now with the water. Wow. Yeah, the finish delivered by this raw cask is mm -hmm. just fabulous. It's still bursting. Um, the mouth feels mm -hmm. velvety. Mm -hmm. I get maybe a touch, a touch Ooh. of the iodine antiseptic near the finish in a great way. Mm. On the embers with water, okay, the, that sherry sweetness now is showing. That's coming through. Again, still high ABV. I added a little bit of water, but it's still up there. Oh, nice, back. nice balance of the peat and the sherry. I mean, it's good, but the the finish is still lingering. Mm -hmm. You can run your tongue along your gum line. Mm. Mm. Man. <sighs> now go back to the embers with the water. Um, I'm actually going to say I prefer it with water. I think it's. Uh, more balanced, more uh, equalness of peat and sherry finishing coming out on it. Mm, that is good. What surprises me with this a little bit is the astringency. It does have a very dry finish. Mm -hmm. And I didn't expect that. Still quality dram. I for me, I'm getting in the finish, I get that slight hint of sherry sourness, some covet. I don't lean to as much. It's not bad. It's not overly sour. Ooh. From the embers to the raw cask. Mm -hmm. With water, both with water. Mm -hmm. Boy, the more of a, uh, a lighter uh, citrusy type sweetness with the raw cask. I haven't even added it. Still water. delicious. I don't want to add water. Still coating, enveloping. Mm. Yeah. They're both very good. I still think, I do like the embers with water better. Um, I still think the raw cask is edging it out. Though. It ain't edging it. <laughs> it, it, it shoulder checked it. Well, okay, if we went back to the store and we picked one up, I would pick up the raw mm. cask. Mm. If I was only getting one... Didn't they have another one kind of along the raw cast side that was, what was it? Was it, there was like they had a family of this, a family of, of I thought, the raw cask, and then something else, too. Well, there's the red snakes, mm -hmm. um, the peat reeks, mm. um, and the peat reek embers. There is red snakes. There's something else here I can't make out. There's the smoking isla. It's up on that. We'll put it up on the um, screen. I remember seeing something of the Irish, mm. um, black snakes. Look at that. Prices. Mm. So Expensive. These were $180 a piece. Right. Um, and I think the other versions, the red snakes, the black snakes, the smoking islets, everything else was cons uh, under $100. Or but, some were in the right $60 to $80. Right. Some were $100. Right. Some might have been $110. Right. These were at 180. Mm -hmm. We knew we had heard of the raw cask, and that's what you'd had with with Raj. Yes. So we settled for both of these. Um, now here's the it's for the show. Yeah, it's for the show. Sure. Yeah, that's well, why my wife's like, "Would you buy an OKC? Some stuff for the show." Well, in fact, is we used uh, Patreon funds. Yeah. Thank we you, used Patreon our, supporters. Our funding yeah, to pay we did. For these. That keeps the wife from yelling at me. Yeah. Just letting you know. Yeah. Patreon supporters, muchas gracias. These are delicious. The, are they worth $180? I think that's where the uh, debate begins. It does. They're definitely 
good. Let's score them. I would I would go. They're like maybe a two one. Okay, uh, ninety two, ninety four. Mm. Um, eighty nine, ninety three. Ooh, yeah, it's up there. <laughs> it's good. Um, I said ninety two on the embers, ninety four on the raw cast. Right. I'm you said eighty nine on the embers, yeah, ninety three on the raw right. cast. Yeah. Right. I think it's good. I want a little. So more. this is a cast strength ten year old Isla whiskey. I know. You can go buy Lafroy ten cast strength for sixty and bucks. And I will tell bucks. you when we tasted it, I have no insider information at all. To me, some of the feelings I get. Lean toward Ard Beg. I agree. Okay. I mean, that's just where we yeah. even, I mean, we talked about it. Because, um, you know, what would be interesting would be to compare it to Ard Beg Dark Cove and see, I think, maybe some of the similarities. I think you might be able to tell right there. I don't know. If you could buy Ard Beg Dark Cove committee release, which is the cast strength one for 180 bucks, would you buy it? Yes. Definitely. And it's non H statement. Right. Maybe it's ten years old. Don't know. Mm. Here's if if you can't afford one hundred and eighty dollars, they're probably not worth it. If you can, if a, if you buy you know one hundred to two hundred dollar bottles all the time, and you want to try these, I don't think you're going to go wrong. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I would lean toward the raw cast first. If if one hundred and eighty dollars is a lot of money to you, I would probably not get these because you're probably going to think your one hundred and eighty dollars could have been spent better somewhere else. Hmm. If one hundred and eighty dollars is a lot of money to you, well, because you're going to say I can go get our big ten for fifty bucks, I could have got three of those for the price of one of these. That's what you're going to say if you can't you afford. Think, it. Well, see, I would. Well, I mean, I would. I think it's from our big. I don't know, um, but it's not. It doesn't taste exactly like our big. They've mm -hmm. re-engineered it a little bit, and it's different. I love. How it's been screened, or however they've done this, there's 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 particulate that gathers near the bottom here, and then it is. I know you can't see it. We can. It floats around in there, and uh, you know. I mean, I just, I just, I I do pick up more of a mouthfeel. I believe those fatty oils, acids are in there, and I like that part of it. So I get what they're doing. I like what they're doing. Um, I wouldn't have liked. This one I would not buy again at 180. I'd buy another one of these. Hmm. That's all I'm saying. One thing that they believe in is, is trying to bring you um, as pure of a product mm. as I can. No filtration, no coloring added. Love it. Nothing. And you feel um, it. Now, this raw cask one, like we say, is pretty much not even, they use a, a very rough filter I see, screen yeah. I think basically they to kind of catch to keep the chunks the out. big chunks yeah, out. Yeah, you're like, what do I why do I got a chunk of charcoal? Be, right because they don't even want the normal filter that most use to right. take out more yeah. from the product. I think it's screened and that's it. And I love it. If I remember right, that's what Raj even told me. It's just screened. Yeah. And uh, it just keeps the heavy, thick chunks from mm -hmm. coming in there which they, they didn't want, which I agree with. Yeah. Scotch God shout out. Yeah. Neil Powell this just came in the other day. Uh, really? It's on an older video. I remember it being, Howell. and I thought I would remember which right. one for sure, but I, so I didn't capture How that. How old? But, it, like a month? That was like three and a half years ago. Hello. We, a, a review we, something. we were still just barely, we were neophytes. Uh, Neil Powell. Okay. And I, I think I pinned this one on I've not I wish seen I could find one. I've not seen it. Anyway, Neil says, hot dang, there I was being all nice and friendship oh. and... Feeling like they're kin, thinking that these two old brethren going to give me some news on them good Scottish. <laughs> Mighty my, I was led astray by the Jezebel of temptation of sales. <laughs> hold these, on, hold on, hold on. Pause for a second. It. Just pause for a second. Okay. What? What? This is like 1892? I think he's mocking us because we're like rednecks. Oh, okay. Okay. All so, right. Continue on. I liked it. I He's, liked it. I was like, what? Keep going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Jezebel's and sales? He leads us astray with his comment. Yeah, I anyway, enjoyed it so far. These sons of heathens, they were selling <laughs> the beaten leather. Oh, that's what it was. It was one of one where you had the Kindle and Hyde belts or something from mm. the Kickstarter campaign. 
Right. I'm wearing one right now. He Look says, they were selling the beaten leather, the ones you see in them movies hitting black kids and little children. Oh, Like Lord. it was back in the days of the Confederate States. Because we were talking about how you whip it out and your dad would... Oh, you, your dad would oh my dad, my dad would back clear it. his belt through the loops like he was drawing a sword. I don't know. But so maybe dad. that's what did it. Because then he says, I was most unhappy. So, yeah, if I'm ever rolling around in their areas, I'd be sure to put a message to their sheriff and hand them both a kick in the face. Y'all too stupid to review anything worse than moonshine. What, did he emphasize the G shine? Yeah, she o -ine. <laughs> GTFO, which What's means that? get the F out. Oh, shut up. And no, any gun that is loaded is safe. Just prove it by looking down the barrel and pulling the trigger, you know, just to be sure. Like Damn it, these people review scotch. It's like America is the angry pimple teen that Britain was 400 years ago, except now Britain knows about acne cream. And I just replied, Neil, thank you for the constructive <laughs> criticism on our this review that's three and a half years old. <laughs> Ever, I can't condone anyone committing suicide over reviewing whiskey. Sounds like a Queen song. <laughs> but we know the sheriff. Yeah, we do. We'd be so like, come on, sheriff, have a bottle of rock ass. He'd be like, I ain't kicking you guys in the face. <laughs> thank you, Neil Powell. <laughs> Neil Powell. Mm -hmm. Patreon. Yeah, we got it. We just talked on the Patreon. You got a little Scotch. You Scotch gods are. I know it. Patreon's been rolling in. Captain Three D, oh. one dollar supporter. Good name. Thank you, Captain Three D. No wait, Captain, Captain Three D is um, oh, what's his name? Oh, hold on, you'll get it. Uh, is it Neil? I want to say Philip. Him and um, his wife did the. It was like a 32 bottle blind shootout to find out which Ooh. was. They just went to the store. Wow. Just 32. grabbed like 32 bottles. Holy moly. Uh, anyway, thank you, Captain 3D. Thank you. Deepa is his wife. Oh. If I remember right. Okay. Um, Jason Duguay. Duguay. I like the sound of the last name. One dollar supporter. Jason Duguay. <laughs> I know it's not a shout, but I like the Duguay. Yep. And we'll. Davilar? Davilar. My dad's name was Dave. David. Mm -hmm. Should have seen David clear the belt. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we got one more. Keith Corbett. Corbett. Thank you, Keith. Thanks, Corbett. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Jason. Name. Captain 3D. Boom. We still need to get with Raster. Scotch it. You Scotch gods. It's launch it. Dummies. Dummies. He's getting more shout outs by us than I'm doing. All right. First of all, I've been warned not to crinkle. Hold on. Yep. I've been told that is distracting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, dude, keep the water out of your hand. You keep it out. Totally. One show I was yeah. editing, totally yeah. man, kept manhandling right. the water bottle. I'm a manhandler. I handle. <laughs> he was like, put the bottle of water down. If people don't like slurping, do you think they'll like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why I worked it in twice now, baby. It's worked in twice. My mom broke a hairbrush on me once. You know them big paddle brushes? Mm -hmm. I did something. I'm sure I deserve. She came in with a roundabout like she was serving some kind of like like Wimbledon serve. Got me right in the butt. Boom! That bad boy broke off. And she, I was like, ah, that's your favorite brush. And then dad, <laughs> did you want a hat? I, no. Okay. Didn't if I wanted a hat, I would have put one on. Ooh, look at you like a man. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I wanted a hat, you'd see it on my head. Time comes, I need a hat. There'll be plenty of them laying on the ground. <laughs> the actor. Yep. Sam Elliott. Bam. <laughs> what movie? Uh, we Were Soldiers. Yep. Although what, I supplemented hat in you did. for yeah. rifle. Right. <laughs> it's, so it's not really a quotable deal, but it is. I'd read the book, We Were Soldiers and Young, I think.
We were soldiers once, Kent Young, I think is the name. I can't of remember. It was a real long title. 